all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonder tutorial we're trying to see how to change the page name and a page icon for your streamlit app so in the previous versions in case you wanted to change the page name you have to rename your file row, right so if you can see from here the name of the file is app.py from the magnifying image there right and this app here is coming from the name of the file which is this app.py right so in case i change it to something like new app.py right it's going to pick that particular name so if you check this new one here you can see that the showing new app.py so that is the name that that is going to use to reflect in your app but with the new feature from version 0 0.65 upwards you can actually configure that particular name and then the icon also this streamlit icon to use your own so let's see how to do that very simple so it's going to be like this the rule is that it must be the first streamlight component that you are, or streamlight command that you are supplying so that's the first rule so must must be the first streamlet command right that is the rule otherwise it's not going to work so that is a basic understanding so it's going to be st dot beta this is a beta feature so beta set page configure then now it's going you're going to pass in your argument so the first one is going to be the page title I go with page title, can spell title. Now I can just specify the name. So let's say hello. Let's hello world, right? So if I go with hello world, it's going to change that particular name for us. So you can see that now it has changed it from here. I see that from the magnifying stuff, it has changed it to hello world, right? So that is the name that is showing. Very interesting and very cool. So that is one of the nicest features there. Very cool. So you can design your app and then use that particular name that you want. Very nice. That is the one of the first things. The next thing you can also do is that in case you also want to change the icon, so that in that case it's going to be this particular option. So page and ask for icon. So let's make it like this. Right. In case you also want to change the page icon, you can just go with page icon. And this one takes in an emoji, so I can just do something like this. Let's go with a simple emoji. So let's call that smiley. Right. And then it's going to pick that particular one and change it to this one. Right can see that it has changed to the smiley so it takes emojis you can also take a simple the normal emoji i can copy this thing here which is being modified right and then paste it here hopefully it's copied you know copy I can, I can copy any emoji emojis and then put it there or use the emoji name and it's still going to work so let's find one so i'm copying this one right and i can also paste it here so that's the first option that is the second option you can also put in the image like this there this let's make it better right, so i can copy this one here the hats and then paste it here instead of using the name for the emoji i can also put this one so this is for this and then it's also going to reflect here you can see that now it's reflecting very interesting right i don't know whether i can see it all right you can see that now it is reflecting here as you, as, as you can see so it's that is how to change the name you can change the name to the name that you want it to be very cool you can also change the icon that is one of the ways of one of the new features you can use to change the page name and then the page icon so let's see how to work with an image so in case i also have an image and i want to go work on it so i can just go with pillow so from pale import image right and i'll just set my image my custom image that i want to change so let's make this image is equal to image dot open then i'm passing my image so i have my image here jcaris tech logo dot png right so if i save it and then this is the image the image is here right this is the image here so i can actually use that particular image in my app right in case you want to use that particular image we can use any image that you want maybe the streamlit image that you want right so in that case it's going to be the same thing and instead of passing an emoji or the unicode emoji or the name of the emoji you can also pass in the image variable here right and it's going to work or you can pass it with st dot image and it's still going to work you can see from here that that's changed the image so you can see from here that that's also changed the image right you can see that small image here very cool and very nice that is one of the nicest features there right very cool so the basic idea is that you just have to import streamlet as st then you you any find before you even run your app that must be the first configuration right that must be the first so you can use emojis as we saw earlier on you can use emojis like this or you can use something like smiley and it's also going to work 
and then you can also use an image right as you wish so that is some some of the cool stuff you can also do let's see some other way you can also do that so instead of you doing it like this you can also run it in a different way right using the format of a dictionary so let's try that one out so you can also even set the layout too so let's try that the one in a format of a dictionary so let me make it like this there's another option so let me comment this one out and then we can create a dictionary so we can make it like a page config right then i'll create a dictionary for that so that is going to be my page layout or page title and i'll specify the title i want to use so let's use like awesome streamlight it's somebody's website anyway <laughs> something like that so let me expand it so i just created a simple dictionary right and then i can also go back with the next one which is going to be let's say that is the page icon so page icon and i'll specify the particular page icon so i can use smiley as we have been using right and then i can also go out the layout so it gives you the option of also setting up a layout so layout and i can specify the layout so the layout can come in the format of centered or right so like that is another way and you can also specify whether you want your initial sidebar to be collapsed or not like it's going to be initial sidebar but that's why we don't do that for now that's another thing you can also check it out so i've created a simple dictionary let's make it uniform i do the simple dictionary right so with the page configuration if i go back and i check this everything is back to normal as we saw earlier on right everything is back to normal so it's to using the app and then streamline but in case i want to use it, the new page configuration this is in the format of a dictionary i can now come back here and then do the same thing right so it's going to be st dot beta page config then i'll use the normal python function asterisk asterisk then the page config i'm going to unpack them and put them in the right places for us so i go back and then i run it now it has changed it right very interesting so awesome streamlight and as well stream like you can even change the name right to any name that you want it to be so let's use let's say jesse <laughs> everybody likes his name and now it's, it's more responsive than the previous one right so that is how to change the page name and the page icon very very cool this is a very nice job right that they have done so the simplest method is just to go with it you must always it must always be the first command right so st beta set page config right to be able to do that so either you use this method right in which you can also do that or you try the second method right which is you create a dictionary then you unpack it so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it inside the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe see you another time stay blessed bye